Hadera H bar is about to melt faces. This shiny, beautiful crypto gem could 50x from its current price point. Why? Well, watch this video and I'll give you 10 reasons as to why I believe this. HBAR is one of my favorite altcoins out there and I felt like I needed to make this video before it starts to make serious moves. So, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Okay. Let's jump straight into the video. Now, why don't we start off with the first reason as to why I'm bullish on Hedera, and that is obviously the Governance Council, which is absolutely enormous, and there are the biggest names in the world, all within the Hedera Council. Now, as we see down here, Hedera is governed by the world's leading organizations, and that is not exaggerating. If you take a look at these names, guys, we've got Boeing, we've got Dutch Telecom, we've got Hitachi, we've got Google, we've got IBM, we've got Dell, we've got DBS, we've got LG, we've got Ubisoft, we've got Shinan Bank, and so many more names that you can see on here, guys, all of which are major corporations and companies from all around the world. These are not names to be ignored, my friends. There are 39 companies within the Hedera Council. All of these companies dictate what happens with the Hedera Protocol. These aren't tiny names, guys. This cannot be ignored. If you would like to understand more about the governance, then you can. However, all you need to know is that they are all here to benefit the network by improving it with security, efficiency, scalability, and much more. I could talk about the Governance Council for ages, my friends. As you can see, we've got all of the companies here which you can read about. You can see when they started becoming a member. So for example, Ubisoft, we've had them in the governance since February 2022. Hedera and Google have been in collaboration since 2020, which is now four years, my friends, or coming up to four years. That is a very long time. Google definitely has faith in Hedera, obviously. For them to be around with Hedera for that long is definitely a green flag. If you take a look at Dell, they've been here since 2023, it's coming up to one year. Chainlink Labs, 2021. Dutch Telecom, since 2019, that is coming up to five years now. IBM, almost five years as well. However, you can go and take a look through all of this, guys. I think it's absolutely incredible what they're doing here. The Governance Council is definitely one of the huge reasons as to why I'm bullish on Hedera. Now, why don't we move on to the second reason? And that is the fact that Hedera has launched and integrated with Metamask. Thanks to Metamask's wallet Snap, networks like Hedera can now join the huge wallet, which has over 30 million monthly users. What will this do? Well, if we take a look at this thread, this functionality offers developers and enterprises a native solution to effortlessly interact with the network and fully utilize Hedera's potential within Web3 applications. In addition to providing new users a familiar and simplified point of entry into our ecosystem. So essentially for users, which is most of us, we are able to use the Hedera ecosystem all with our MetaMask wallet, which we've all set up, most of us anyway. Most people had a Hashpack wallet or a Hedera native wallet, but now we can use MetaMask to interact and explore the Hedera ecosystem, which in my opinion, will onboard millions and millions of users and of course that will do wonders for the hbar token so why don't we move on to the third reason that was very brief but you can take a look at this article by clicking on this link and it tells you all about it in more depth however back in 2021 there was an article written on the five compliant cryptos to keep an eye on in 2022 on yahoo finance and of course on that list is hedera now for those who don't understand what the iso meaning is ISO is an ISO standard for electronic data interchange between financial institutions. It describes a metadata repository containing descriptions of messages and business processes and a maintenance process for the repository content. So essentially what I mean by these ISO cryptocurrencies are that these are currencies that can be used to be transferred between different businesses, corporations and so on, for example, banks and major financial institutions. So on the list, we've got Ripple XRP, we've got Stellar XLM, we've got the XDC network with its token XDC, we've got IOTA, we've got Algorand, we've got Quant, we've got Cardano ADA, and then of course, we've got our beautiful Hedera Hashgraph with its token HBAR that we all love. Now, this is the third reason as to why I'm bullish on Hedera, because it is on the compliant list. And obviously, if banks are going to be using Hedera, then billions to trillions of dollars are going to be flooding into this token. So I see big things happening here, guys. If HBAR is compliant, that is a green flag. And obviously it would be with that huge governance council that is leading Hedera. 
So let's move on to the next reason, which is going to be number four, and that is going to be its scalability. Hedera is one of the most scalable networks out there, my friends. It can process up to 10,000 transactions per second at lightning speed with basically instant settlement. This definitely blows Ethereum and Bitcoin out the water, that's for sure, and many other EVM compatible networks. And in my opinion, I think Hedera is one of the most fastest and scalable networks out there. And I think they'll continue to develop on their scalability, especially with the fact that they've got serious technology companies behind them to give them all the support they need. Now, let's move on to number five, which is going to be staking. Staking with Hedera is probably one of my favorite things to do. I've been staking it and you get rewarded daily. It's almost like liquid staking. What you can do is you can stake with big nodes such as LG, Google, Ubisoft, or pretty much any of the governance council that you saw on the list. There are no minimums, there are no maximums of staking. Every 24 hours at 12 a.m. UTC, you get your tokens rewarded and then you can claim them and then compound them back into your wallet. The good thing is if you have staked tokens, you can use them freely, you can send them everywhere, you can swap them for other tokens, meaning that you're not having to lock up your, any of your HBAR tokens when staking. I think this is extremely clever and this gives us the full flexibility and power over our assets, all of which we are looking for. Now, whether or not we'll be able to stake within our MetaMask wallet is to be discovered. However, we did it in a Hedera Hashpack wallet tutorial. If you want to watch that, I'll leave that link in the description below. I'm a big Hedera staker and I will continue to be staking my Hedera tokens all through the bull market until I see that Hedera has hit my price target. Hey guys, Shu here and just a quick video on something that I think you guys need to check out. Now, whether you're already trading crypto or you want to get started with trading crypto, Bybit right now is the exchange that I and so many others are using. And actually, right now, they've got an insane competition going. So on the 11th of January, you were able to register for this event until 22 more days at the time of recording this. And actually, the competition is starting on the 18th of January until the 9th of February. So what is this? Pretty much what this means is just do as you normally do. You do your trading and on top of that, you're actually having a chance on winning up to 2.2 million USDT prize pool. So as you can see, it's going to be about volume or PL or PL percentage and they actually have a leaderboard for it. And the more you do, the more profit you make or the more you trade, obviously you're having a chance to join the prize pool. So what could you win? They actually have a lot of different prizes for it, be it USDT or a gift set or merch packs or pretty much any cool stuff that you can think of they are giving away. So I'll be adding the link to this event in the description. Check it out, sign up there if you haven't done so, you're getting the best discounts and deposit bonuses. Or if you already are on Bybit, check out the competition and get started to make some extra free money. Have a look and enjoy the rest of the video. Moving on to number six kind of refers back to number four with the scalability. However, Hedera is one of the cheapest networks out there, my friends. You can expect to pay an average of 0.0001 cents per transaction fee. Now, tell me how many other networks can offer that sort of price point for a gas fee? Not many. I mean, yeah, I mean, most networks charge around five to 15 to maybe 50 cents per gas fee. However, at this rate, Hedera blows every single one of them out of the water. You'd need to do 100 transactions or something like that to make one cent's worth of gas fees on Hedera. Now tell me that isn't insane and extremely scalable and definitely the most cheapest network that you heard of or one of them anyway. Personally, I think Hedera at these rates will battle networks such as Solana and Sui and so on. Could Hedera be the secret Solana killer? Possibly. I think there is a lot of potential coming to the Hedera ecosystem with these sort of fees, guys. We'll see a lot of dApps such as games, decentralized exchanges, perpetual trading protocols, and so much more. All of these decentralized applications come to Hedera purely because of the fact that it's so fast and cheap. Now, why don't we move on to number seven, which is going to be one of the huge reasons for the future, and that is the sustainability. In today's world, my friend, we all know that we need sustainability. We all know that we need to be carbon neutral and carbon negative. Well, that's the direction we're heading into anyway. If you look at all the companies in the world, not just crypto companies, but companies of Web2 like Google, British Airways, Ryanair, American Airlines, all of these companies are fighting to remove as much of their carbon footprint as possible. Now, if we're going to be looking in terms of cryptocurrency, hash graph technology, blockchain technology, whatever you want to call it, Hedera is the leading in this field. They are the most carbon negative protocol in the world. The efficiency of the hash, 
As you can see here, the efficiency of the Hashgraph consensus enables Hedera to be the most sustainable public network based on average energy consumed per transaction, which you can see this figure here. I can't read that all there. However, you can see it is such a minuscule figure according to a recent study conducted by the University College London. In addition, Hedera has committed to being a carbon negative public network through the purchase of quarterly carbon credits to offset the small amount of emissions from all public facing infrastructure. Now, you can see the worst when it comes to this is the Elrond network, second worst Cardano, but the best is Hedera, second best BNB, third best Solana according to this infographic. Now, if it's a thousand times better than Visa, and it's a 34,000 times better than Elrond, and it's 3,300 times better than Ethereum, Surely Hedera has got to do some wonders in the future with these sort of statistics as well as his other stats I don't know but guys if you want to see more of the, about the energy report you can So why don't we move on to the next reason which in my opinion is going to be one of the biggest And that is the stablecoin studio on Hedera which has just gone live The stablecoin studio is an open source SDK that makes it easy for web3 stablecoin platforms Institutional issuers enterprises and payment providers to build stablecoin applications on the Hedera network Wow Guys, this one is absolutely enormous. In my opinion, I think this is going to be used by companies, corporations, governments, and countries all around the world. I mean, the evidence lies within the Governance Council. If any of them set up stable coins within the Hedera ecosystem, we are in for a treat, my friends. Hedera will blow. Now, the all-in-one stablecoin solution. Stablecoin Studio is an open source SDK that simplifies the process of issuing stablecoin using Hedera network services. As an all-in-one toolkit, Stablecoin Studio enables stablecoin issuers to easily deploy applications and oversee operations via a comprehensive management toolkit, allowing for streamlined digital asset operations. The toolkit offers proof of reserve functionality that utilizes existing systems or on-chain oracles to bolster the ability to provide transparency in disclosure, while seamless custody provider integrations ease development and reduce time to market. Complemented by advanced Hedera native KYC AML account flags and integrated service provider hooks, Stablecoin Studio gives issuers new ways to manage compliance and security. As we would have gone through, the Hedera network can handle up to 10,000 transactions per second. And for the stable coins, guys, there's going to be a transfer fee of 0.001 cents, which is absolutely nuts. Banks, as you are all aware, charge a minimum of 1% to 3%, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's what they charge of me anyway. With big companies, when they're paying over $1 billion, they are paying millions to billions of dollars in fees, or even hundreds of thousands, and it is just not sustainable for these companies. Instead, they can just pay a minuscule 0.001 cents and avoid all the hefty fees charged by the centralized corporations that are greedy. Not only that, guys, but banks are known for being notoriously slow with bank transfers. Yep, they take up to 5 to 15 days. However, with Hedera, it takes 3.83 seconds. So obviously, Hedera blows all of the banks and all of these financial companies out of the water. And right now, guys, stablecoins are being built with Hedera. If we scroll down a little, you'll see that Standard Bank, which is a South African bank and financial services group, has started their own stablecoin with Hedera. We've got Shinan Bank, which is huge in South Korea. We've got Cathay Bank, Jewel Bank, SCB TechX, and Rivia. Now, I definitely see many more joining the list. So that is basically it for the Stablecoin Studio. I think this is going to be huge, especially as we start to see CBDCs and crypto adoption worldwide. And for number nine, I thought it would be important to include their solid and compact roadmap. The Hedera roadmap is everything you need to know about what's coming up and what they've completed. This will give you an insight into the development that they are doing and also things that are planned but are not yet in development. So we've got EVM third party tooling support. Now this my friends is going to be absolutely astronomically huge for Hedera. Developments to enable first class support for Hedera using popular EVM tools like Hardhat and Foundry. The more EVM compatibility we have, in my opinion, I think we're going to do better. I'm just personally keen on the Ethereum network and all EVM networks and I think that's where most users are and I'm happy that Hedera are starting to embrace that. Now we've got token service or so token association improvements. We've got enabled community nodes. Here guys I think this will be so big as well. We'll have a set of permissioned community run mainnet nodes. So basically I'm assuming we'll be able to set up a node as a community by simply just staking and locking up our Hedera tokens. Instead now we are we are able to freely stake our tokens without having to lock them up. However I'm assuming with these community nodes we'll actually have to lock up our Hedera tokens and that way we'll get a bigger stake in a community run node. 
plan for development guys you can see this down here mirror nose more down here as well all of which you can go through i'm not going to go through all because there is just so much however you can take a look at what's completed as well but i'm extremely happy with what is coming for hedera i think there are big things on the roadmap there's major development obviously going on but why don't we move on to the final and tenth reason which is simple it's just so undervalued in my opinion and it has the potential to 50x but why why don't we move over to coin market cap and go over to market cap of where we can give some rough price predictions my 10th reason was very brief and short but yes it is undervalued hedera at the moment is currently sitting at a price point of seven cents or just over in fact with a market cap of 2.4 billion dollars ranking hedera the 37th largest cryptocurrency by market cap as we can see hedera has been in a consolidation phase for a very long time since around may to june 2022 now that is more or less one and a half almost two years now we've had a long time to stack up our hedera tokens but in my opinion i think the time is ending i think we are soon going to see one of these huge green spikes that could take us way beyond 30 cents in fact i think we're going to break all-time highs and create new ones in this next bull run how high will we go well the previous all-time high for Hedera was 57 cents back in 2021 in the last bull run, which I think is still a relatively low all-time high for Hedera. I think Hedera will reach a dollar price point in my opinion. I think it is just a matter of when. If we go over to market cap of, we can give some rough price predictions. And without a doubt, my friends, I definitely see Hedera HBAR reaching the market cap of Cardano ADA, which is currently $16.5 billion. Now, I think this will happen in the early stages of a bull run. This will basically hit its previous all-time high or just around 7 to 8 cents off. Hedera doing a 6.89x is very, very likely in my opinion. I think this is probably the most conservative price prediction I'm going to give you. And definitely, I'm aiming way beyond this. This is not my price target I'm aiming for for Hedera. If I was to go a step beyond this, I would easily say that in the bull run, Hedera HBAR can reach a market cap of $45 billion, which is the BNB's market cap, meaning that Hedera would do an 18.85x and reach a price point of $1.35. Call me crazy, but I definitely believe this will happen, and this is one of my targets for the next bull run. Now, I'll probably be selling most of my tokens at this price or around this price anyway. I will definitely be holding some for the future. I will not sell everything in my opinion obviously this is not financial advice i will always be staking my hedera for as long as the rewards are good and as long as i have the flexibility but i will sell most of my tokens at this rate i think hedera has such huge potential but the thing is i'll be holding tokens for a 50x for hedera i definitely see it coming and for it to reach a 50x it would have to roughly reach the market cap of bnb's all-time high when it had a market cap of roughly 110 billion dollars now for hedera to reach 110 billion dollars it would have to do a 45.96x reaching a price point of three dollars and 28 cents now while this might not happen in the next bull run my friends it could easily happen by 2030 and that is just my personal opinion but that is definitely very possible with the huge governance behind it with the money that's going to come into the crypto market a 50x for hedera very very likely even in the next bull run this could happen but i wouldn't hold your breath just take that with a pinch of salt now Guys, that's basically it for this video. Feel free to check out our YouTube playlists as well. We've got them all organized now. We've got crypto market airdrops, crypto airdrop guides. And if you want to watch videos specifically by me or by Jules or Crypto Gems the Legend, then you can do so just by going over to the playlist tabs on our YouTube channel. But don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. I'll leave all the official links down below for Hedera. But guys, Thank you so much once again and we also have a promotion running on Bybit. The best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.